Hello everyone, I am Gyan and you are watching the second session of Java and Wave, Variables, Data Types and Operators. In this video, we will learn about the bitwise OR operator in Java denoted by the single pipe sign. Let's apply the bitwise OR operator practically. We have two byte variables A and B, A contains 5 and B contains 6. We have to do the bitwise OR operation on A and B. Since the maximum of integer type of A and type of B is integer 32 bit integer, so convert both operands to 32 bit integer. That's how add 24 extra zeros on the left hand side of the operands to make them 32 bits. Now our operation starts according to this table. If both bits of A and B are 0, then the corresponding bit in the result will also be 0. If at least one bit in the operation is 1, then the corresponding bit in the result will be 1. So 0 or 0 results 0, 0 or 1 results 1, 1 or 0 results 1, and 1 or 1 results 1. The operation starts from the least significant side. Here one bit is 1 and other bit is 0, that's how the corresponding bit in the result will be 1. Here also one bit is 0 and other bit is 1, that's how the corresponding bit in the result will be 1. In this case both bits are 1, that's how the corresponding bit in the result will be 1. In this case both bits are 0, that's how corresponding bit in the result will be 0. Similarly rest of bits will be result in zeros. The result of this operation is 32 bit 7. Since the maximum of integer type of A and type of B is integer, that's how the result of this operation is 32 bit 7. If I type cast the result which is an integer to byte, then the least significant 8 bit from the 32 bit 7 will be taken out. And this 8 bit also results in 7. This is the program where we are applying the bitwise OR. We have a byte variable A which contains 5, we have another byte variable B which contains 6. We are doing a bitwise OR operation on A and B which results in integer and that result has been typecasted to byte and finally we store the ultimate result in the byte variable C. We are printing the byte variable C here which outputs 7. Let me execute this program. Open the file bitwise or.java and this is the same program we already discussed. Let me save and compile it. Java C bitwise or.java compiles fine and then run it Java bitwise or. It runs fine and printing 7. If I make a update in this file and remove the typecasting, then see what's happening. Remove this byte and also remove these two extra opening and closing single quotes. Save and compile it. Java C bitwise or dot Java. Compiles not compiles fine. Compiler throws an error saying incompatible types, possible lossy conversion from integer to byte. Since the result of a bitwise or b is an integer, that's how we cannot store the integer in the byte variable c without typecasting it. Let's modify the file again and typecast here to byte. Write here byte. Here we are typecasting only the operand a. We are not typecasting the result of the operation. That's how when we try to compile this program, the compiler will throw an error. Let me try to compile it. Java c bitwise or dot java. Compiler throws the same error saying incompatible types, possible lossy conversion from int to byte. If we want to typecast the result of whole operation, then we must have to provide the operation in between the opening and closing a small bracket. Now everything is okay. Let me save and compile it. Java C bitwise or dot Java. It compiles fine and then run it. Java bitwise or. It runs fine. We can use integer and character variable instead of byte variable. Let's make the variable a of type integer, right here int. And let's make the variable b of type character, right here chr. Store the character literal capital A in the character variable b, right here capital A. Now let's change the type of variable c to integer, right here int. And remove the type casting from here. Remove the type casting. That's how one operand of the bitwise OR is integer and other operand of the bitwise OR is a character. While doing operation, the character first gets converted to 32 bit from the 16 bit. And then we have bitwise OR on the two 32 bit operands. Finally, this operation results in 32 bit integer. That 32 bit integer is going to be stored in the integer variable C. Let me compile and execute it. Java C bitwise OR dot Java. Compiles fine and then run it. Java bitwise OR. It runs fine and printing 69. Because the bitwise OR operation on 5 and 65 results in the 69. We can use the boolean data type as the operand of bitwise OR. We can write here true or false. 
or false this results in true notice here that true or false result in true false or true result in true true or true result in true and false or false result in false that's how if at least one operand is true then the bitwise or operation on a boolean results in true otherwise it returns false and one more thing is that if at least one operand of the bitwise or is boolean then the other operand must be boolean we cannot use other data type as other operand so let's save and compile it java c bitwise or dot java compiles fine and then run it java bitwise or runs fine and print true if we write here false or false then the operation will result false write here false save and compile it java c bitwise or dot java compiles fine and then run it it runs fine and printing false we cannot use the floating point literals or variables as the operands of bitwise or if i write here 5.4 bitwise or 6.3 it will not work because the bitwise or operation cannot work on the floating point literals or variables save and compile it java c bitwise or dot java compiler throws an error saying bad operand types for the binary operator bitwise or we cannot use double as the operands of bitwise or even we cannot use the double or float as the operands of bitwise or that's all for this video guys don't forget to like and share this video subscribe this channel if you are new and leave your valuable comments in the comment section below thanks for watching see you in the